Hello friends, I am Sravana Lakshmi and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see structured streaming with the Kafka in Spark with Scala. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So uh, in the previous video we have seen what is structured streaming and uh, how to uh, stream a files in a folder to your console or to your local machine or to whatever downstream systems. So today we will see how to integrate that with Kafka. So Kafka is a messaging system uh, which works like a produce, and produce and consumer, producer and consumer kind of uh, methodology it uses and uh, each and every message that we receive will have a unique ID which is called offset and uh, it's a it's a separate api altogether but it will it can go well very well with spark because of the fault tolerant uh, manner and uh, we have to add some uh, earlier uh, in uh, spark streaming we used to add some kafka utils and uh, some libraries we used to download for working with kafka and all that so now using the structured streaming it became a bit simpler than uh, how it was looking like earlier so now let's look into some uh, example to see how to work with uh, uh, this integrate, integrate uh, Spark with structured streaming. So I have uh, created a object, Scala object, defined the main method, created the Spark session. So I'll create a Kafka DF, some name I'm giving. So what Spark dot, here we have to give the read stream. Okay. And then here we have to mention the format as Kafka and here we have to pass the Kafka bootstrap server and some jukeeper and all that uh, details were there right so that details we have to pass it here itself earlier it we used to send deserializer serializer list of tab topics and uh, uh, Kafka utils package you used to call right so it's nothing here it's a very straightforward and very simple options you have to mention it here kafka dot bootstrap server and because it's uh, my machine i'm using the local host and uh, if you are working in production you can use the direct servers here uh, for uh, Kafka from development environment, you will get the Kafka details like some server name. You can just mention the server name and the port. Okay. And then here we, ha we have also mentioned the uh, what is the topic to be subscribed. So here we will say what is the topic. Subscribe comma. I will simply mention it as test dev. Okay. So any topic name you can mention as per your requirement. And another option I will add it here. This is for reading from the beginning. So if you have worked already, you used to mention like hyphen hyphen from beginning for the topic, right? So similar one, what is the similar uh, option for getting from beginning is starting offsets. And here we have to mention is earliest. Okay. And finally, we will say load. So that's it friend, that's it, we, we have just I mean, created a Kafka data frame with all the required data, f data uh, I mean uh, configuration related f uh, which is required for reading a Kafka data frame. So now we will see how to query that. So actually before starting with the uh, coding itself, we need to make sure that I mean when we are testing the code right, Zookeeper must be up and running, Kafka server must be up and running and uh, be ready with the kafka topic for which you are going to produce the uh, i mean to which topic you are going to consume it and also what is the con uh, because here in a local machine we are even in the testing you will not have any producer right so you have to have that instance as well open and some other useful commands are for listing the topics whatever is available in, in the zookeeper and also how to describe which will provide the details of all the topics and also how to get uh, the topic details from beginning and how to delete a topic okay these are the other commands so now we will see how we will so one, one by one we will start all this and uh, before that any kafka right kafka when when the message comes it will have all these values key value topic partition offset 
timestamp and timestamp type so these are the values it will be there in out of all these we are interested in only in value that is where our details will be uh, when when you uh, publish something in the sense uh, pro in the producer if you type something that the value that is what is consumer will be interested in so because of that reason in the code so here uh, from this uh, data frame okay I'm saying that uh, select this expression in the expression I'll say I need uh, if you see here it's a binary okay okay because of that reason I'll convert that as string here okay cast value as string you understood right and then normal read uh, write stream and all that and in the in the format I am writing it as console if you wanted to print it to somewhere you can use uh, dot CSV and uh, uh, if you wanted to put it as a hive table you can put it as dot save as I'll see some option okay output mode you can mention where it's a uh, dot output mode we can mention right append I am mentioning and we can use partition by as well yeah two table this is the two table we can mention it here if you mention it will be stored as a table and uh, as usual as if this is the streaming application we have to give this two commands two options okay so with this the coding will be complete we are reading a value from this uh, we are uh, consuming from this topic and uh, we, we are taking only the value out of it and then we are printing in the console so now um, okay first let me escape this so that that uh, full screen mode will be off now from the command prompt I'll start so now we need to start fr for this uh, we, we need to start the jukeeper server so for that So now I'll say JK server. It will start. Meanwhile, I'll take another CMD for starting the Kafka server. Sometimes in CM uh, command prompt, uh, uh, this will not work. Okay. Uh, yeah. The now it is working because of the other CMD is active in my machine sometimes it will not work so that time what we have to do is we can use this uh, um, slash D in between CD slash D and C drive zookeeper then it will allow you to uh, what is that go to CD to that change the directory to your uh, required directory so now yeah this is where we I have the other cmd prompt so now this what is this is kafka server start dot bat and i am passing the server properties file as the input so with this command should start the kafka services in my machine so now let's i will take another command prompt so that that kafka services are running in the other one right so now in this I, I am going to C drive Kafka in C drive Kafka only I have uh, all my local um, Kafka installation because of that reason I am going to that particular folder and then let me this is started right uh, yeah no error if you see you can just scroll up and see if any error no error that's fine so now I am using the Kafka topics dot bat hyphen hyphen create hyphen hyphen jukeeper localhost 2181 is the port for jukeeper under replication factor I am giving 1 because this is my local machine 
and only one partition and the topic name I am giving it as test underscore dev if you see here topic test dev is created so now so now let me take the producer command so if you see here Kafka console producer dot bat and uh, the broker list is localhost 9092 and this is the topic that we wanted to use it in the code so I am just typing something ok uh, I, I, I leave it this way so now what and all we have done is uh, okay so we have started the zookeeper kafka server we have created a topic and we, we have the producer ready which is ready to produce the data here now we need a consumer so that consumer code is this one so now i'll run it as a scala application and i'll keep this one as open in a i'll make it as a small so that we can see okay now the stream is started wait wait yeah it started now so you can see right uh, whatever I typed is going hello when I type something the background you can see the data right it is getting printed there under the values and when I type there only the batches are getting created here so what whenever there is a message in the producer uh, pro producer produces the message our code will capture the data okay we'll we will run it again and push the data so that it will print each and everything because this is a streaming application it is difficult to capture the output in the console but if you can see it here because we have given as a uh, to read from starting right we have used the option starting offsets from the earlier so it, it should be able to print everything that is from the beginning I am stopping the application just to, to show you that you can clearly see, see here right whatever I typed here from beginning it has taken each and everything right you understood this one right so now you start using um, I mean start uh, working on this code and in the producer whatever you type you can see that is getting displayed in this console and to make sure that you follow these steps I'll copy paste these steps in the description of the video and uh, thank you for watching the video uh, if you have any questions uh, mention it in the comment section Thank you for watching the video friends. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.